Hello, it's Daniel again for another video. Today, I'm going to teach you something very, very special uh, because we're going to talk about sound. Okay? Nous allons parler de son aujourd'hui. In this video, you're going to learn uh, some words uh, with similar sound. Je vais vous apprendre de mots qui ont même son, the same pronunciation, mots qui prononcent les mêmes gens. Unfortunately, they don't have the same meaning. Ils ont même son, mais ils pas même signification. Et yeah, ou souvent ouais moza ou mais ou nan doute. Yeah, they have the same pronunciation. Okay, let's go. We have this and this. These words have the same pronunciation. For example, if I start with uh, by, you see I say by, by, by. They have the same sound. You get même son. You prononce même gens. By, by. Bye is an interjection, an interjection to say bye, oh bye, goodbye, the same thing, okay? Bye, goodbye, the same thing. And it means salut, okay? Salut, au revoir, bye. And this bye, this bye is a verb, it's not the same as this bye. This bye means to give money for something, okay? I give you money, you give me something. For example, this marker, if I want to have this marker, I give money and they give it to me. This is what buy means. To buy is to give money for something. You say buy. So if I focus on pronunciation, do not hesitate to produce the same sound for both words. This you say buy, and this you say buy, the same thing, okay? So uh, you cannot use in the same context, like uh, if I see my friend, I talk to my friend before going, I say buy, okay? And for this, I say, buy this marker for me. Buy a book for me, please. Buy something for me. Say, mom, I need money to buy something. Mom, I need money to buy a marker. Mom, I need money to buy a book or something else. You say, buy. Buy means achete. When you want to say achete, moi vle achete, you say, I want to buy. But if you want to say uh, au revoir to someone, you say goodbye. Or in French, you say salut. Okay, salut. Good. I think it's clear for you the first one. Okay, now let's go to the second uh, group of words that you can hear the same sound but different meaning. Okay, the second group, you got meat. Meat, you say meat, it's the sound, and meat. So don't worry about sound because they got the same sound. Thank you, Topusom, because you get the same sound. Okay, the first is meat and the second is meat, but what is the difference? The difference is this is a verb to meet, to see face to face, okay? Like, I, I, I meet Joe Biden, I, I, I meet Joe Biden, I meet Ariel, or I met Joe Biden yesterday. We talked together. Good. You say meet to see face to face. It means rencontrer. When you say meet, you mean rencontrer, to see face to face or talk to someone. And the second meat is the flesh of an animal used as food. Something that you can eat, like the chicken. Chicken is a meat. Like the beef. Beef is a meat. You can eat beef, okay? Beef is a meat. Chicken is a meat. Something that you can eat. You can see the picture of meat. Pedro shows the picture of meat for you. You say meat. Meat. No way image meat. Que Pedro mette pour nous. Meat. Something you can eat. So this is a verb. You can say I meet, but this is a noun. You cannot say I meet. Do you understand? So ça c'est un, un, un verbe capable de I meet Jack or I met Jack yesterday. Moi t'ai rencontré Jack hier. But ça on pas capable de sujet des verbes. It's because it's not a verb. Ni pas un verbe. L'on va pas un verbe pas capable de sujet. But you need a verb to use it. Like you can say I eat meat or I ate meat yesterday. Or I ate lamb yesterday. Good. So meat means see face to face, and meat is of the flesh of an animal used as food by human being. Good. I think you understand the second now. Let's go to the third group of words have the same sound but not the same meaning. Good. And this is scent. Okay, and this is scent. Completely the same sound. You say scent and you say scent, okay? Scent, scent, scent. Good, scent, scent. This scent is the past participle of the verb to send. Scent, ça c'est passé du verb to send. 
Il signifie envoyer. But here is the past participle. Uh, the message is sent. Message là, il envoyé. The message is sent. This is sent. Okay, sent. Good. And this sent is a noun. This sent is a verb, past participle of a verb. And this is a noun. Okay, a noun. Uh, when you say the scent, it's the smell you inhale. Okay. Oh wow, it's pleasant. Okay. Yeah, it smells good. Ça c'est odeur. Ça on sent un bon un bon scent. But it, it can be stink. Okay, it's stink. Oh, oh it's stink. Okay, stink. Hmm. Oh, it's stink. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't smell it. Okay. Now you're talking about the scent. Là, on parle de odeur. Là, on parle de odeur. On dit scent. Mais là, on parle de on envoyé. On dit scent. But the same sound, different meaning. Good. It's clear for you. And this. This is sight. And this is sight. Sight, sight. Okay. Before going further, let me show you. This is by. And this is by. And pronunciation. By, by. It's clear. And meet, meet. Clear for you. Sent, sent. Clear for you. And sight, sight. All right. What is the difference between both? Both of them are nouns. They are nouns. To let this say no. This side is a noun. And this side is a noun. Okay. This side is uh, the place. The place. A place. It can be a place and you can use it to talk about like uh, a technology or internet. You say, go to my website. And sometimes people say, go to my site. They put web for internet. They say website. This is a place or where you can find an information, where you can find something. This is site. Site, ça signifie un site. Ah, moins sous site là, moins sur les lieux. Donc on a des mouns à dire ça. Ah, moins sous site là, là, oui. Ok? Un moun qui a mené en enquête, dit, ah, ou sous tel piste, ou sous tel site. Ok, good. This is what it means. And the second thing is the ability to say this. I'm talking about this sign. The ability to see. Donc on a des mouns à parler le, le goût, vu, l'odorat, etc. Mais c'est vu ça, c'est sight. The ability to see something. To see a pleasant place, to see someone, to see whatever it is. Good. So this side means sit, and this side means vu. Ability au game pour capable ouais. This is sight. Yay. Another one is right. I think you know this. Right. Right. Listen again. You say right, 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 right. It's clear clear sound i think you know it now and you listen carefully you can reproduce the sound for me right right ça prononce comme right et ça lui même il comme right so what is the difference the difference this right is a verb okay it's a verb for example i am writing in the book i'm writing okay okay i write something now I am writing. I write lang moin tu pa tu. Okay, good. So this is the verb, and you see the action. To write is doing this action. So as soon as you're doing this action, you mean to write. Okay, this is the gesture of to write. Ça c'est geste le verbe to write. To write. I write on the board. I write on my book. I write in my notebook. You can write on what you want. Good. So this is a verb. Means a clear. I I'm writing you now. So this is a verb because I can say I or a subject, whatever subject before it. Okay. And the second write absolutely the same sound. Okay. Same sound. Do not hesitate to to pronounce it like this or pronounce them like this. You say write write. Good. And this right can be a noun or an adjective. Right, ça, il capable de dire non ou bien adjective. When it is an adjective, they mean that uh, they 
agree with you, okay? Like, I agree with you. You say, you are right. And when it is an adjective, you use the verb to be. Lorsque c'est adjectif, vous utilisez le verb to be. You say, you are right, man. I, I, I'm right, man. I'm right. Yes, moins gain raison. Okay? Moins gain raison. You are right, tu as raison. Good. And when it is a noun, it means you have your right to do something. Okay? I have the right to go to school. I have the right to speak. I have the right to teach English to my followers. I have the right to learn more English. I have the right to follow the class and ask questions. Okay? This is right. Means le droit. Ou gen droit pour faire tel bagarre, ou gen droit pour poser question. This is what this right means. Right ça, il y a deux significations, deux bagailles, deux rôles que je joue dans la grammaire. Il joue un rôle côté de ses adjectifs, il dit que vous avez raison. Il joue un rôle côté de ses non, il ça il dit que ou gen le droit pour faire tel bagarre, ou gen accès libre selon la loi pour faire tel bagarre. It's okay. Good. Next is peace, 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 peace. All right, peace, peace. The same sound, même son. Peace, peace, but different word, different meaning. Good. This peace is a noun, and this peace is a noun also. Both are nouns. You tous les deux c'est non. Okay. Uh, this piece means to tear into two parts. You tear something. Okay? You you break something. Or for example, I, I have this flyer, this flyer, and I tear it. Okay, I tear it in two pieces. I tear it. Good. So this is a piece and this is another piece. I got two pieces. This is what? Piece this piece means. C'est ça que pisa le même signifie. And you see that? And the second piece means, uh, I can say, uh, the opposite of war. When there is war in the world, people say we need peace. We need to live like brothers and sisters in the world because we are human beings. We should respect the nature. They talk about peace. Okay? Being in peace, you don't need to worry about anything. Ou pas besoin de quitter ou de rien, l'or en paix. So you need peace. Peace. This is peace. And this is peace. This peace signifie morceau. Ou ka chi ou ma an deux morceaux, ou plusieurs morceaux. Ok? Qui ka vle di plusieurs l'autre bagay, mou m'chou a di morceau a. Qui vle di plusieurs l'autre bagay, mou m'chou a di morceau a comme définition. And this peace means la paix. Paix. Ou fè la paix. Good. Next is roll. You say roll, roll. Same sound. You say roll, roll, roll. Roll, 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 roll. It's okay for the sound. Roll, roll, roll is a noun. Roll is a verb. Hey, this roll is a noun. So this is the character you represent in a movie when you perform. Okay, when you perform in a place in a movie. Okay, the character you represent, if you're an actor, you can say that my role in the movie is to serve people. This means wall. It signifies wall. So, wall is to do tel bagay. This is role. Okay? It's my role. Say wall, man. My role here is to do this or that. C'est comme ça ou dit ça. Good. Ça signifie wall. And the second is a verb. It's a verb. You are making an accent. You are doing something. You say, to wall. To wall means to move. For example, I wall on the ground. You wall over. Okay, let me say something to remind you what I'm talking about. Yeah, do you know the music of Sha Millionaire? He says, they see me walling. They hating. Do you know the song where he says, Try to catch me right that day, try to catch me right that day, they see me voting, they hating. Okay, you know the song? That means uh, people like saying, uh, you know, I'm walling. Donc, ma poule, ma bienmenée, etc. Donc, to wall means, wule. 
il signifie rouler. OK? Good. Wall, wall. And it's time now to go to next group of words. You say sin and sin. What do I say group because of, of the sounds? Um, sin and sin. Sin, sin, sin. Okay. This sin. Listen, the sound is sin. Okay, sin, sin. Whenever you see both words, do not hesitate to pronounce them the same way because they have the same sound. You get même son. Ça prononce comme sin et ça prononce comme sin. Okay? This sin is a verb and this sin is a noun. This sin is the past participle of the verb to see. Remember, uh, this sin was the past participle of the verb to, to send. And this sin is the past participle of the verb to see. To see, you know, eye to eye. To see, use your eyes. Uh, see is the past participle, you say sin. Means vu, like she has seen me at the party. She has seen me at the party. Good. You say sin. It's a verb. And this scene is a noun, means uh, the stage, okay, where someone can perform. Uh, this is a scene. It can mean um, other thing, but here, this scene means stage. Scene, ça signifie stage. Ça veut dire côté mon yo campé pour yo performer. It's a scene. D'accord? Good. Scene, scene. Il capable de signifier on scène non l'autre contexte. But you see if he sends mute su send them with stage uh, to as a noun. Great. And you say wait, wait. You know, I, I use my, my lips because it's double your sound. Okay? Say wait. Wait and wait. Wait, wait. The same sound. Wait is a verb. Wait. To wait. To wait for someone, okay? To wait, to stay waiting for someone. You say wait. Wait is a verb. To wait means attend, return, wait for me. People say that very often. Can you wait for me? Let's go capable de attend moi. Wait for me, please. Wait for. They use wait with for very often. Say wait. Wait for the bus. Wait. Good. And this rate is a noun. It's a noun. You use it to talk about the, the force, the force of an object. Like you can try to move something that is heavy, okay, a charge, something that is heavy. And the force of something that you're trying to move, the force, they call it rate. Force, ça va passer, bouger, il y aurait les ça, poids, charge, this is the rate. Poali. Okay? This is the rate. Rate is a verb and a weight is a noun. Weight as a verb means attend and a weight as a noun means poa. Good. Tell bagay combien live, etc. And the last is do. Do. Same sound. Do, do, do. Do. Do not say do. Say do. W doesn't pronounce here. You say do and you say do. Do, do. It's okay. Do, do. Good. <laughs> not do, do. No, it's do, do. Okay? Good. This do is uh, when you're talking about the atmosphere or, okay, the nature the little drop of water that you find early in the morning when you wake up. Uh, if you're walking in a field, okay, in a garden, you can see this. This do. Ça y aurait le rosé, ça veut dire la rosé. Donc, les vins dans le jardin, on vient leur marcher ou jeune petit de l'eau qui n'en plante ou bien qui enlève petit pied bois cap de goûter. Il y aurait ça do, the do. Ça signifie rosé ou bien la rosé. And this do, itself means uh, because of, the cause, okay? Because of, or the cause. Uh, C'est cause qui fait tel bagay pas arriver. For example, due to the rain, I don't go to school. Par exemple, à cause du à la pluie, m'pas aller l'école. 
à cause de la pluie. The cause is the rain. Cause là, c'est la pluie. So, on dit du. Du a tel bagaille, non pas fait tel bagaille. Il y a, pas, il y a plusieurs sens. Mais dans ce contexte que nous utilisons là, il signifie ça. So, you learn today a lot. Let me know in the comment if you learn a lot, if you appreciate this video. Fais-moi connaître dans les commentaires si vous apprenez un pile et si vous apprenez ces vidéos. Bye, bye. Si me dit bye, ok. Si me dit meet, si me dit set, me dit sight, parce que tous les deux même sont après. Si me dit right, si me dit peace, si me dit roll, si me dit sin, si me dit wait, et puis si me dit do. Great. I think you learn a lot today. You learn sound. You learn the meaning of words. You have to practice more. I think you're gonna like this video. Please let me know in the comment below and do not hesitate to text us to say the kind of video that you prefer. If you appreciate these kind of videos, please let me know so that I can produce more videos for you. I love you so much. My name is Daniel and it's always a pleasure. Catch me in a better video. Bye.